Today I will explain a special type of discrete probability distribution known as Poisson distribution. Let capital X be a discrete random variable. Then X is said to follow Poisson distribution with parameter lambda where lambda greater than 0 if it has the PDF f of x equal to e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial where x is from 0 to infinity. So a discrete random variable x is said to follow Poisson distribution if it has the PDF e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial where x takes the values 0, 1, 2 up to infinity. Now we will find the mean of the Poisson distribution. We know that mean is equal to expectation of x is equal to sigma xfx where f of x is e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial. Since e raised to minus lambda is independent of x we can take outside sigma. So, we have sigma x lambda raised to x divided by x factorial and x is from 0 to infinity. Now, we will put x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1 etc. So, we have e raised to minus lambda into x is equal to 0 means this term is 0. x is equal to 1 means lambda by 1 factorial. x is equal to 2 2 lambda square by 2 factorial. x is equal to 3. 3 lambda cube by 3 factorial. x is equal to 4. 4 lambda raised to 4 by 4 factorial. And so on. Now we will simplify this square bracket. That is e raised to minus lambda into lambda by 1 factorial. It is lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial. 2 factorial is 1 into 2. So we can write lambda square by 1 factorial. Now, 3 by 3 factorial, that is lambda q by 2 factorial. Then, 4 by 4 factorial, lambda raised to 4 by 3 factorial and so on. Now, one lambda is common in all the terms. So, lambda e raised to minus lambda into 1 plus lambda by 1 factorial plus lambda square by 2 factorial plus lambda q by 3 factorial plus etc. Now this is the expansion of e raised to lambda as we know e raised to x is equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x square by 2 factorial plus x cube by 3 factorial plus etc. So we can write this as lambda e raised to minus lambda into e raised to lambda is equal to lambda which is the mean of the Poisson distribution. So, Poisson distribution with the PDF, e raised to minus lambda, lambda raised to x by x factorial has mean lambda. Now, we will find the variance of the Poisson distribution. We know that variance is equal to expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. So, before finding variance, we will find the second order moment expectation of x square which is equal to sigma x square fx. We will write this x square as x into x minus 1 plus x for simplicity. So, we will express x square as x into x minus 1 plus x. Now, this is equal to sigma x into x minus 1 into f of x plus sigma x into f of x equal to sigma x into x minus 1 into f of x is e raised to minus lambda lambda raised to x by x factorial plus this sigma x f of x is the mean of the Poisson distribution as we have seen it is equal to lambda. Therefore we have to simplify this part only. Now we can take e raised to minus lambda outside and we have x into x minus 1 into lambda raised to x by x factorial plus this lambda where x is from 0 up to infinity. 
equal to e raise to minus lambda into when we put x is equal to 0 this term is 0 x is equal to 1 also the term 0 put x is equal to 2 we have 2 lambda square by 2 factorial plus x is equal to 3 3 into 2 6 lambda q by 3 factorial x is equal to 4 4 into 3 12 lambda raised to 4 by 4 factorial plus x is equal to 5 20 lambda raised to 5 by 5 factorial plus etc plus this lambda is equal to e raised to minus lambda into 2 by 2 factorial is 1 so lambda square plus lambda cube 6 by 3 factorial 3 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 so it is lambda cube plus 12 by 4 factorial 12 is 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4. So, we have lambda raised to 4 by 2. Then, lambda raised to 5 by 5 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. So, we have 6 or we can write this as 3 factorial here 2 factorial plus etc plus lambda. We can take lambda square outside the bracket. So, e raised to minus lambda lambda square into 1 plus lambda plus lambda square by 2 factorial plus lambda q by 3 factorial plus etc plus lambda. Again this is the expansion of e raised to lambda so that e raised to lambda and e raised to minus lambda will get cancelled and we get expectation of x square as this lambda square plus lambda. That is the second order moment of the Poisson distribution is lambda square plus lambda while the first order moment was lambda. Now we can find the variance of the Poisson distribution. We know that variance of x is expectation of x square plus expectation of x d. Expectation of x square minus expectation of x the whole square. Expectation of x square is lambda square plus lambda. Expectation of x is lambda. So, x square is lambda square. So, that lambda square minus lambda square will get cancelled and we get variance of x is also equal to lambda. That is for a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, mean and variance are same. It is equal to lambda. Now we will explain the relation between Poisson distribution and binomial distribution. Poisson distribution is a limiting case of binomial distribution when n tends to infinity and p tends to 0 with np is equal to lambda. That is binomial distribution tends to Poisson distribution when n tends to infinity p tends to 0 and np is equal to lambda. We know that np is the mean of the binomial distribution where lambda is the mean of the Poisson distribution. So, we start with the PDF of binomial distribution that is f of x equal to ncx p raised to x q raised to n minus x where x is from 0 to n. 0 to n. Now we will expand this. We have ncx is equal to n factorial by x factorial into n minus x factorial. ncx is n factorial by x factorial into n minus x factorial. Then we have p raised to x q raised to n minus x where x is from 0 to n. Now we can cancel this n minus x factorial with the n factorial. Then we have in the numerator up to n minus x will cancel from n factorial and we have n minus x plus 1, n minus x plus 2 etc. n minus 1 into n divided by x factorial into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x. Now I will write this in the reverse order that is n into 
n minus 1 into n minus 2 etc. n minus x plus 1 that is n minus x bracket x minus 1 whole divided by x factorial into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x where x is from 0, 1, 2 up to n. Now from all these terms I am taking an n outside. So here 1n is there, 1n is there. So we can take n raised to x outside from this, these terms. So we have n raised to x by this x factorial into, if you take n by n from n, we have 1. Then from here 1 minus 1 by n. Then 1 minus 2 by n, etc. 1 minus x minus 1 by n. Then p raised to x. p is, n p is lambda. So p is equal to lambda by n raised to x into q. q we know that q is 1 minus p. So we can write this as 1 minus lambda by n raised to n minus x. Where uh, x is from 0 to n. See here you have n raised to x in the denominator. Here you have n raised to x in the numerator. So we can cancel that and you can write that as 1 by x factorial into 1 minus 1 by n, 1 minus 2 by n etc. 1 minus x minus 1 by n into now we have only lambda raised to x then we have 1 minus lambda by n the whole raised to n minus x. Now we will apply this that is n tends to infinity. You have to put n tends to infinity. When n tends to infinity you have 1 by x factorial into 1 minus 1 by n as n tends to infinity is 1. 1 minus 2 by n as n tends to infinity is 1 etc. 1 minus x minus 1 by n as n tends to infinity is 1. So all these terms becomes 1. Now we have lambda raised to x into limit n tends to infinity 1 minus lambda by n raised to n into 1 minus lambda by n raised to n minus sorry minus x. I split that term. 1 minus lambda by n raised to n into 1 minus lambda by n raised to minus x. Now when n tends to infinity, this first term is e raised to minus lambda. That you know, this first term as n tends to infinity is e raised to minus lambda. And this term is 1 as n tends to infinity. 1 minus lambda by n raised to minus x is 1. So we, this is equal to 1 by x factorial. 1 by x factorial. Then lambda raised to x is there. This lambda raised to x. Then this limit. One, limit n tends to infinity. 1 minus lambda by n raised to n is e raised to minus lambda. So we have 1 by x factorial. E lambda raised to x. e raised to minus lambda. And this x is from here. As n tends to infinity we have x is from. 0 to infinity which is the PDF of the Poisson distribution. So we begin with binomial distribution ncx p raised to x q raised to n minus x x equal to 0 1 2 up to n we expanded then we put n tends to infinity and np is equal to lambda and then we get the PDF of the Poisson distribution that is Poisson distribution is the limiting case of binomial distribution.